Marhaba, I am Amar Lamar and welcome to these tips for basic belly dance steps. Today I want to talk to you about the hip drop. The hip drop is this amazing step that never, seriously, never gets old. It's something that you learn at the very beginning in your baby steps when you are just figuring out what belly dance is about and it will go with you all the way when you reach professional level. Is something that you will do on and on all the time just because it is very nice and it feels fantastic and the step is so versatile that goes well with almost all the Arabic rhythms out there. So it's a very nice step to learn good from the very beginning. So I hope that this video can help you and also like it's very small video so then you can squeeze 10 minutes here and there I know that some of us sometimes we do not have the time to make as many dance classes as we wish sometimes the dance studio is far sometimes we just like are floated with work and house chores so sometimes I know it's hard so I hope that this video can help you practice a little bit at home so when you reach to your dance class the next time when you go so then like you can improve much much faster okay so if you want to follow me in social media i am as amar lamar or harakat oriental dance whichever you prefer and uh, yeah let's get to it okay let's begin our hip drop by explaining three movements in your hips the first one is the twist so just normal twisting of your hips try to keep your upper body as steady as possible so try to don't make this all right so try to keep it steady and only move your hips side to side just rotate just rotate twist 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 your knees are in a neutral position so do not over bend but do not lock back. So just keep in a neutral position, straight back, coccyx in, uh, pelvis out. Okay, so just twist. The second one is by bringing your hip up. So for achieving this, bring your right leg in front. Okay, so if you see it to the side, then it's only one little step in the front, so then your foot will be in point. So you have to lift your heel from the floor. Do not make very far because it's going to be hard. Do not make it very small because then there is not too much room to play. Okay, so one more time. My right is in the front. Now, what I will do is I am going to make the same twist but when I am twisting to my right side I'm going to stretch my knee so are you ready so we go left and right okay one more time so you twist to the left and twist to the right so now you can see I stretch and then bring it down okay so now if you want to make a bigger move so what you will do is the foot your right foot that is in point don't make it like um, very sticky in the floor so allow some movement so try it must slide in the floor so just to have more range of move if you do not slide that foot what will happen is you will make this and down if you slide it then the difference is this so the movement is even bigger so now if you keep on doing it so you are going to count when your hip goes up so let's try and one and one and up and up so stretch and bend stretch and bend stretch and bend stretch and bend all your body weight is in the back leg 
This is your support. Now, the third movement is to bring your hip down. So remember, this is a hip drop. So now, it cannot go down if my hip is already down. So what you will do is you bring it up and then you just drop it. Boom! It is the same movement actually, but what will happen is just now you count when you go down and not when you go up. So then you are here and down, 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 down. So notice my foot. It is sliding in the floor. Down, 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 down. All right. So now, to complete the hip drop or uh, one and a half, what will happen is now when you drop your hip, you will let the right foot lift from the floor. It's a movement that has to feel natural, very organic for your body. You do not, you don't need to think like a third step. You don't need to think one, two, and then boom, three. No. So remember, you bring up, and the important here is that you never forget to twist. Okay. So when you are here, you come up and then you drop and remember what I told you about the foot that slides in the floor. So each time when you go down, you should feel there is a momentum when your leg opens. So you can see here it's opening. So then you go boom, boom. That is the moment when you just lift. Okay, so then you go up and drop. One more time. Go up and drop. Go up and drop. Twist, remember to twist and twist. Twist, 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 twist. twist. Very good, keep it up. Okay, so now our hip drop will be complete by making one drop without leg. Then you go up one more time and you repeat the second time, but this time you will shoot your leg. Okay. So then let's try. You come up and then you drop and kick. Drop and kick. Drop and kick. Drop and kick. Remember to twist and kick. Drop and kick. Drop and kick. Drop and kick. Okay, so if you see it to the side, okay? Now remember, the one that is working is my right side. Remember, the video is mirror. Okay, so now you are here. All your body weight is in the back leg. Now you come up, stretch your leg, and remember, you twist. So, drop and kick. Drop and kick. Drop and kick. Drop and kick. Okay guys, so now let's complete with the upper side of your body, all right? So remember, nice postures, shoulders in line, lift your face, and let's complete it with nice arms. So usually you will have the same leg, which is your right leg, with the right hand. So both of them will be together. And the other one will be up. So try to keep a nice arms. Do not overstretch. Do not bring it very low. Okay? So 
just bring it here. Some like very subtle curve in your arm, palm down, relax those fingers, and this arm is more or less to the chest level, okay? So you don't want to be here because then no one can see your face, but you don't want to have it here because then it looks like you are tired, a little bit like a T-Rex. Okay, so then just keep it nice. And the one in the back, so bring it up more or less to your ear level and that hand as well. Just keep it nice and relaxed. The fingers don't need to be like super tight, just try to keep them natural and then you are here. So we are going to begin. Remember, you have to twist up first. So you come up and start. And five, six, seven, eight. One and two. One and two. Drop and kick. Drop and kick. Drop and kick. Drop and kick. Very good. Drop and kick. Drop and kick. Now we are going to make a double time. Are you ready? So keep it here and five, six, seven, eight. Drop and kick. 